Hey there guys, just getting ready to do our organic soil versus hydro versus cocoa chili grow and got everything set up here. First of all, got our lovely little seedlings which are about four weeks in, our, um, in the seedling tent under the array one and uh, looking good. Nice little roots popping out there, you can see. And um, yeah, they're going into these pots, these aero pots. We've got uh, the organic soil mixture in there, some perlite and some, um, some peat. And they are going to be just drip watered and hand fed as needed. Be using the um, BioBiz nutrients with them. Then we got the hydro setup. It's an alien hydroponics two pot setup, and we're using the uh, Shogun nutrients, so the Hydro Grow for soft water, so CalMag included, and also the uh, well, we started with the silicon, and we got the roots and the Zenzyme, which uh, apparently will keep um, keep the um, the system clean. And we, and we use the schedule from Shogun, which you can do online. You put in your, uh, the volume of your tanks and it'll give you the um, amount of each of the nutrient mixes. So the A and B, the roots, the Zenzyme and the silicon. And uh, yeah, what EC it should be at. Uh, so we're, t we're looking for about um, 700 ppm which we have achieved. Now the pumps are off. And just, just back up here, oh, so you can see this. Um, pumps are off and um, you can just test here and see. You can see with the blue labs pen there, we're getting a flashing light at um, 700 uh, EC of 1.4, 700 parts per million, so that's perfect pH uh, was high, particularly with the silicon, so I had to bring it down. And then uh, the usual adjustments, it'll take a minute to, uh, to settle on this reading. It'll drop back down now as it usually does. Um, I think it's around 6.2. It's settled in at after a couple of minutes, which is what you recommended to uh, keep this in for. So that's all about right. We've got the pebbles ready to go put the plants into and uh, there we got the cocoa so using a pro cocoa mix all pre-washed and all that stuff again a ring um, feeder got our tank here and again we did our mix uh, 50 litre tank did the calc and we're going for a 1.4 I tested earlier on it's bang on as well as the pH and they're using the uh, Shogun Coco A and B and uh, CalMag for this one. Doesn't come in the, um, in the uh, soft hydro one, as it does in the soft hydro one. So I'm just gonna pot them up now, get our seedlings in and uh, I'll show you how, they, uh, how they're sitting. We've got the chili clones here. Taken, uh, cuttings taken about six or seven weeks ago. Quite slow to root. It took um, two or three weeks to root. Um, but then we transplanted it into these slightly larger pots about three weeks ago now. Been running it in this, you can see it there, secret garden tent, 60, DP60 tent. It's uh, 60 centimeters by 40, or about two foot by uh, 16 inches. And they're doing really well. The environment has been, uh, you can see that there, so it's 18 degrees, about uh, 75 Fahrenheit, I think. 90% humidity, nice and high. Running it under the Array 1, about 400 par. I cannot be level here across this little tent. So uh, not bad, light levels at all. And um, yeah, they've been doing well, looking really healthy. And if you can see, the uh, roots coming out the bottom there, so just starting to 
get too big for their pots and ready to plant on. So we have, I think it's 12 here. We're gonna put six, two into each, the organic soil versus cocoa versus hydro. We'll have some backups as well, just in case. Hey guys, just doing the soil mix for the organic soil versus cocoa versus hydro grow. We're gonna be um, using the feed from uh, BioBiz, the BioGrow and the BioBloom, liquid nutrients. Uh, as required by the plants. And we have uh, EcoThrive BioSys microbe tea to add as well as we're going along. Um, but for our main mix, we are using this um, Pro Mix by Plagron. It's uh, just substrate, uh, no um, non fertilized. We're using Living Green certified organic soil and um, we're using perlite. It's about 45 liters, 40 liters, and 10 liters of um, perlite. The pots they have some cells, these uh, aero pots, really big ones. That's uh, I think about 40, 40 centimeters across, about 16 inches across, and um, similar in height, so really big. Lots of capacity there to grow big roots and uh, for it to get lots of feed and not require watering too often, which would be good. So one plant for each of these. And we're just gonna mix in the tray, mix it all up and then fill the pots, as simple as that. Okay, everything is set up now. All the seedlings are planted. The soil ones here looking good. Got the hydro ones. Roots are, dri roots are down into the um, nutrients there, so a quick start for them. And the cocoa ones. See here the power level just about 476 par, just uh, about 500 par at the tip of the plants. Um, we've got the Inkbird controller, set for a max of 24 degrees, or 23 degrees. So um, that'll control the extract fan there. Um, that's about it. Nothing else fancy in the setup. And, um, yeah, looking forward to kick it off. Stay tuned.